back at it. Another day. Get these stupid valve covers off now. Them heater hoses were a fight. I guess these bolts in the valve cover, they don't come all the way out. Like, they hang there for you so you don't lose them. I'm guessing. Alright. Don't want no extension now. You think we'll get that exhaust off? It's a guessing game. I don't think we will. I think we'll break everything. <laughs> Always think bad. Maybe it'll be better. <laughs> when you think it's gonna be, you know what I mean? Oops, there goes that. Never see that again. Well, uh, like everything else, another I, guessing game. <laughs> yeah, everything that's fell in this thing, I have I not. Mean, I have not found it. Oh. Missing two two objects at the moment. Do what? I'm missing two things right now. Well, three if you count that. Oh, well, it's cool. there. Where's that? <laughs> Yeah, you don't tell shit like that, Crystal. <laughs> Everybody, nobody on there tell you anything like that, will they? <laughs> Look at that. Found it. One more to go. Oh, yeah. Got a knuckle buster right there. Yeah, I really, I need all this wiring out of my face. I need this air conditioner completely out of here. Yeah, it's a big hunk in, in the way. Though. Could you imagine putting the head back on this with a brand new gasket, though? Mm -mm. With all that shit in your way? Because mm -mm. uh, more than likely, it won't be in my way when I do that, if I have to do that. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of hoping at this point that it's just trashed. I'm serious, because I don't... This is a nightmare. I've worked on a lot of vehicles, Crystal. You know this. This is ridiculous. We need to do something about this. Like, like there's tie wire right up there. Like anything at this point. Where's it at? I think it's in this corner of the big box down there, right in the top. Right there in that green bucket right in front of you, it's not. In a corner. It's not. So I'm not. I don't even know where to tie the damn thing. Because it can still fall no matter where I tie it. Good thing I'm a chicken farmer. I wouldn't have this with a. Good thing I cut it too freaking short. Ugh. I put that there to slice me later. It's gonna. Yeah, I forgot a bolt. <coughs> Looks like you're making some room up in there, though. Yeah. I'm though. I need a swivel. Yay. I'm just uh, tired of the shitty movie already. You know what I mean? Like, let's do the same thing every damn day. It's not boring. Oh man, are you most seriously gonna have to find a ranch? I don't wanna move that yet, even though I will have to. Mm -hmm. It's got a gasket on it though, you know? Yep. Everything's got a gasket, it's just more money. Little guy. Think I can fit him in there? Don't use the right tool. Use the one that's going to mess up the head of your bolts. Oh, God. These things are kind of hard to use. Am I going the right way? It looked like you was. I got shit in my way. Because I said I'm not going to lose any bolts. <laughs> there we go. See how easy it comes after it fights you? School bus already? Is <laughs> that time of day? Yeah. We need to like wake up earlier. It looks like it's gonna rain now. 
At least I got a vehicle that kind of ran stuck in my backyard now, right? <laughs> All right. I'll have to get up under there or something. Hmm. More than likely, we're not using. I'm already losing every damn thing. It's going to be one of those days. I can see it already. Hmm. I got two options here. You know, the wrong tool and the wrong tool. Seriously? They glue these suckers down? You don't know me. I better go around it again. Mm-hmm. Uh, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Uh oh, I did forget one. <laughs> Son of a bitch. That's me. Yep. And this one's too short. <laughs> Running circles. Yep. You hear that? That was not loose yet. That's me. That was me trying to bend the valve cover off. <laughs> like a soup can lid, you know? <laughs> hey, it's part of it. Yeah. I bet you she comes off easy now, way on that. Any takers? Oh, yeah, I just want that to does, fall. That does help, doesn't it? Just jump off there. Gee, it was like I was doing something wrong. Now, I wonder how much room you have here to pick this sucker it's like up. like all kinds of... It still acts weird. Oh, mama. Make sure the back ones are... Out enough, maybe? It so yeah. acted like the rear was what was... It's glued back there, I bet. Because everybody, if you're going to have a problem, it's going to be back there. Mm -hmm. Know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Get my little short ass up here. Yeah. Okay. I think she went that time. Yeah, it looked like it. You're getting too close here. Get your ass kicked. Yeah. <laughs> you got your arm up in there, so I got under it. Now, is there enough room to take this off? Looks like them bolts hanging through. Uh, them bolts are meant to hang like that. Yeah. So you don't lose shit. Oh my goodness. Seriously? Wiring. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Wiring. Let's see if I can get it back on this side, maybe. Yeah, that looks like it. No. You know what it is? that insulation has fell back me mm. here to see the firewall back there what this has single overhead cam too see this big old time and chain mm -hmm. yay so you know what that means mm. i think it means it don't even have lifter rods you know what i mean so they, they don't have rods to bend is that what it means? <laughs> yeah, see, I don't know. Because I'm new age shit. I don't know. This is why you don't see anybody working on this shit on TV. You always see 19 whatever, you know. You don't ever see this new garbage. Because it's a bitch. That's why. I mean, what's going on here? This new shit... Make you want to fucking cry like a baby. Okay, so that's on the wrong side, and it's got to be on the wrong side now. Ah, oh, I see that. You see that? Mm -hmm. <sighs> kind of stupid shit. Everything hangs up here. See, it acts like it would just fall off, don't it? Mm -hmm. There's just so much stuff back there, would you? <laughs> yes. Pause that son of a bitch. This is ridiculous. Hooking the battery back up. Make sure we got nothing here that's gonna. Uh, hey, I think I see something wrong already. Yeah, we should have a good look at that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, a lifter came loose. Look at that. Oh, fuck. Can you even see that in there? You see that thing hanging out of the top of the valve cover? That should not be hanging there. The valve uh, thing broke. Like uh, the lifter guidey thingy? Uh, Am I seeing it? I'm not seeing it. See, I don't know how these are made, but I know that ain't supposed to be like that. 
You know what I mean? Damn it. I wonder if that means this thing could skip time or something. I'm not that much of a mechanic when it comes to this crap. You see what I'm talking about, right? Huh? This. It's just laying in here sideways. That's not supposed to be there. Yeah, that's the that's the metal sound we heard. So nothing's hurt maybe down there. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Is that supposed to just be laying inside your engine? I don't think that's supposed to be. So that explains why we're down a cylinder. Look, it goes. Is there two missing? Um, you see these, right? right. That's what these this is. It's this one. Yeah, but there's... Okay, there's that one still there. It's the only one I see that's... That was that... You know what? I don't even think it hurt the cam. Ha! So huh. that's good news, right? Yeah. I want, if it... Either way, the head needs to come off still. To make sure there's nothing there. No, because we have a water leak. I mean, it's spewing oh. water somewhere. Okay. So, I wonder why that came off, though. See, that's a roller... Roller lifter, I think, is what that is. I wonder how that came out of there. Well, what holds the other ones on? <laughs> so, Honey, that's the question. You're right? here with me. <laughs> okay. I know. We don't know. You this know, too. just as much at this point as I do. Mm -hmm. But these things, see, they go up and down like that. Here's your valve spring over here. It seems fine. Is there any water in that? Oh man, see that? Oh yeah. There's water in it. She got issues, but we found some already. Yeah, but we could, um... Huh. Sure makes you wonder, don't it? Yeah, I don't know about that. Only one valve is messed up here. But what would cause that and a water leak? Like... Could the water getting down in the cylinder and then Put too trying, much pressure to, on that? trying to start like that, could that have thrown that thing off there? Maybe. Like I, said, I don't know what's holding that on like, there. I wonder if this comes out. Yep, this comes out of here. <clears throat> There's water in there too. As you can see, it's milk. It didn't, it didn't bend that. Yeah, see? Let's see. This thing sets like this. Mm -hmm. And underneath that cam, though, and when this comes up, it mm -hmm. pushes down on that valve. Mm -hmm. Works it. Maybe. Maybe it just threw it because of the water. Either way, the head's going to have to come off. To and make now, sure we ain't got a head gasket. Now, like seeing how this is built, the whole front of the motor has come apart. Because it's got a timing chain where I didn't think it had one. Mm. I thought this was like, had the cam in the center of the motor, mm -hmm. like the old ones did. As you can tell, it's got dual overhead, or it ain't mm -hmm. dual, it's single overhead cam on each side. So, that's kind of good news, maybe, right? Uh, yeah. Like, it could be. Yeah. It, I don't even see where it hurt this, though. Like, maybe it just... Maybe it just threw it because the water got The pressure away. of yeah. it. The hydro lock. <clears throat> if it's rebuildable, I'm going to try to rebuild it. Even though I don't know shit about this. <clears throat> but how do you learn? If you you don't... put so many together without knowing. Yeah. See, there's a bunch of water in there with the timing crap. Definitely, definitely have a head gasket issue. And it's on this side. I think this side's fine still. Which doesn't matter because... It's part of it. <laughs> See, I don't know how it's made. If, it, if I get lucky... Um... This timing chain ain't one big timing chain. It'll be two timing chains. Like it'll be dual sprocketed at the can or the crank down there. Mm -hmm. And one goes to this one, one goes to this one. They're offset just a little bit. Instead of the mile long that yeah. just goes over the other side. You remember that Ford, that big old car you had? That Lincoln. Lincoln, yeah. I changed the timing chain on it. Uh -huh. Do you remember how it was made? Was it one big continuous? I think it was a mile long. Does these cylinders look straight across to you? Don't they look like? I mean, is one just kick, looking at them, kind of does. 
this one to me looks like she's out a hair farther. Maybe I'm wrong. I can't tell really. See, good we from need here. to do actual research on shit. We don't know what we're. <laughs> we even don't. About. We don't even watch videos before we jump into no. stuff. No. Why? You don't learn that way. Everybody tells you something, and sometimes I ain't gonna say it. It don't. Sometimes it makes your life easier. Yeah. But Sometimes it's just when I changed the starter on this I watched the video and He didn't say I had to drop an exhaust that I had to or pull a four-wheel drive drive shaft And I was like, you know the hell with the exhaust so I pulled the drive shaft There's no way in hell I could get that starter in and out of there and you you seen it yourself. Could you? Mm -mm. I tried a thousand different ways The video I watched was really easy it's like they they've done it a few times they maybe. put the Cadillac converter or whatever you call those little baffle things like they put it in just a different spot on this engine and it was right where that starter is and I was the first one that changed the starter on this Jeep too I don't know that <laughs> look at this this pink rag never goes away this is the same rag I was using the whatever. rain washes it out I guess well it's been decent even though it feels so gritty nasty man so what should i do should i start breaking exhaust bolts should uh, i start next start snapping them all off i guess because they're not coming out I just, just start breaking Did you everything you sprayed them last night didn't you huh didn't you spray them all good i sprayed them that you know how that goes it would have fixed it yeah great we'll come right out of there yeah we're getting this wiring if we have to get that deep in this motor, which we do, we know that then now. Then that's going to need to come out of there. Yeah. Yeah. Now, see, if a person got lucky, which it doesn't matter because the head gasket's leaking. Mm hmm If, let's just say this happened. And there's not milkshake. You would take your timing chain off. You would um, take all these off, and you could maybe pull that up, get that back in there, and put it all back. But I don't think that's going to work But for there's us. milkshake going on. Yeah, milkshake and... There has to be a reason this happened. Okay, if this is one big timing chain mm -hmm. and it skipped, then both sides would be screwed up. Not just one side of the engine. I seriously doubt it was the... I don't think it's a timing chain, do you? No, it still starts and runs halfway. Well, decent. you know what I'm saying. Either you got interference, something hitting something that ain't supposed to be, or you, like you said, maybe it hydro locked and it bent, pushed some shit up out of there. Mm -hmm. Like the pressure yeah. did it. There was the one time you tried to start it and it just went bonk. Like it hydro locked at that time. I mean, should I even be happy yet? Yeah. I don't think so. I don't think I should even be close to happy yet because that exhaust is still on it. I think seeing nothing in that valve cover would have been worse. See this? You can see tiny bits of moisture in here. We're still now see, even if this thing, like I said yesterday, if this thing didn't have a head gasket problem, where we live, shit like this is normal, isn't it? Just a little moisture mm -hmm. in like your valve covers, maybe your oil stick, but not in your whole entire oil. But you know, here's where I'm having a problem. We got oily, watery oil up here. Why ain't it showing that on the stick? Maybe it's just settled down in the bottom. I don't know. Maybe it ain't mixing that low. I don't know. Uh, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense is what I'm saying. I'm not the smartest guy on earth. It's weird to have milkshake which is not like completely horrible either maybe it ain't been long enough maybe the leak is so small that it's contained to the top end and maybe it's, it's not maybe it's it? more contained to the actual cylinder filling right. up with water other than the the oil jackets like you have water jackets and you have oil you know where your oil goes through mm -hmm. you can actually get a water leak just from a jacket to a cylinder or you can get a leak between two cylinders and they're losing compression together at the same time maybe it's something like that i don't know theorizing this shit ain't gonna get it done <laughs> it? nah well should i start pulling these off whatever you think snacks babe there's a long ways to go here yeah and i don't think anybody's gonna want to watch how boring it's gonna be 
because I mean you got an exhaust we got the whole now everything has come off the front even the damn pulley down there you know what I mean she gonna get broken all the way down yeah we got no choice because the stupid cams on top of the engine if the cam was down there we just pull ahead but you know, with the cam up here now the whole front of the motor's got to come off because the timing chain has to come off you get what I'm saying? To be to able get to the relieve head off this. And yeah. Replace the gasket. At least. How about you pause it and let me see how well this works because Okay. You know what I mean? I'm nervous. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, we'll be back after a short struggle. Yeah. I'm scared? Yeah. It's back on. Okay. We're gonna pull this big old air conditioner out of the way. He is. <laughs> gonna be safe. Once again bend over right where's my other one it's hiding in the right side down in there in the right right yep down in there yep underneath all that junk why would it be on the opposite side of this i one? was digging for this magnet now this is not how you do this mm -hmm. i can't i cannot even say don't do what smock ass does yeah we're running yeah Man, I don't know. <laughs> so I'm scared. <laughs> if it goes in your eyes, dude. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Why ain't it leaking yet? You don't know nothing about them. Yeah, I can't say. I know a lot. But I know one side is a pressure side and one isn't. I know that much. Scary, babe. You ever been scared? It happened to me. Maybe it's empty? <laughs> Hell, that's wiggling loose. But there's a, a little rubber that sits down inside in there. And I think you have to get this so far off for it to actually come out of its little seat. Mm -hmm. <sighs> this is so stupid. <laughs> I, wish I, I wish I had the thing to actually do it. I don't even know how you're supposed to that's do That's what I was going to say. I could ask somebody. What, what's, it's got a valve. What part do you recommend pulling? You know yeah. what I mean? It's got a valve in there. I'm yeah. tightening that back up. That's okay. That was stupid. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's got an air compressor, like a tire valve in there. Like an air compressor tire valve. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to just push it in like you let out a tire, you know, mm -hmm. and see what that does. Does that mean you'll have to stand there and hold it? <laughs> yeah. But as long as I don't let it touch me, it'll be fine. We'll breathe it. Where's that wire at? We need some more of this shit, maybe. Actually, something bigger than that would work. It's on your box. <sighs> Here, let's try this. Oh. It did something. It did something. What's so funny, baby? <laughs> just jabbing at it. We don't... <laughs> Who, who knows how to do this properly? You want to take over there? Nope, I'm, I'm doing this. You might be able to do it better than me. Who knows? I'm trying to find something. The sound scares me even. So, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's too fucking big. Uh. Me giggling makes for shaky filming. Yeah. What about a nail? Sure. sure. That'll get me too close, man. I'll get burnt. Yeah, it would be short. What? I thought I was going to tell you where to find nails. I was like pointing at you. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to have to use English or Spanish. Just a little bit of German. Just anything other than nothing. Where a rat tail. There file you go. That looks there. scary, man. Wait, something's happening though. Yeah, just air at this point. It's coming towards me. Don't breathe it. Yeah. I don't know if it's uh, invisible or not. But, so. Yeah, I think it went that way because I felt and smelled a little something. No, this should be the tip, Abby. 
clearly this thing was gassed up. I think it did work when it started uh, knocking at the storm itself. I moved my breath. <clears throat> Can't hold my breath very long. <laughs> Smoking too long, you know what? I think it's a little quiet. Do you taste anything weird or anything? No. I just smell what smelled like a hint of coolant. Yeah, I don't play with stuff like this. That is for the people that know what they're doing. See, I don't even know what I'm doing right now. Is this the pressure side, or do I got to do that one too? You know what I mean? Maybe just. Are they the same? I mean, if we do one, is the other one empty? You I get what I'm saying? I know it is. Just jab at it, I guess, and find out. After that one gets quiet. I bet you. You see the dumbest shit on TV, and now I get to enter that dumbest shit that you see, right? Oh well, I guess. Hey, but we're learning ourselves right now. My so lungs maybe, ain't on fire yet. Maybe somebody is going. I wonder how this. I can depressurize this. No, <laughs> don't. Uh, don't don't I will do this. Don't. I swear, don't do it. I'm serious. You breathe this shit. Get it in your eyes. I think if it gets on your skin, it'll burn you. I'm not even sure. I'm just saying. I would treat it. With caution. That's something that will kill you. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> really reverend. Reverend. How do you say that word? Riveting? Yeah. Yeah. Riveting. Well, on the second hand, I mean, it's really nice out here. What is it, like 60? Nice. I said it would be more beautiful today than it was yesterday. It's totally cloudy. Yeah, it looks like it's going to come pouring down rain on top of us. The wind's calm, though. That's nice, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Does it matter if it's every little inch of it, you know? Um, I would imagine just whatever's left in there is going to come out when you start unhooking hoses, Those hoses. maybe. You're just smart. Jeez. Forrest Gump smart over here. It's never took me this long in my life to tear a motor down. Has it? Usually... But you gotta remember, you've only actually worked on it about three hours or something and all. Like, you are quick. It just... We said we got really. started late, so it don't seem like you're getting. You talking about my gear? <laughs> you <know? laughs> it don't seem like you're getting a ton done in a day, but I mean, I'm there's sorry. a lot of I'm room in there. Really bored of sitting there doing that. There's I a think lot of this, space in there this already. This is where you've. It's got another valve in there, so uh, this one could be different. Who knows, man? Mm -hmm. I know there's oil, freon, alien stuff. I believe we did it. Don't you? you know what's weird though? Mm -hmm. Why didn't we see any like I thought like white shit comes out of here? Or was it just full of air? I don't know. Maybe it's got to be running to pump up and make this stuff real cold. Or I don't, yeah, I, it's I don't move around, know. I think it has to be moved around. I'm not sure. Yet. Maybe when it just sits idle, it settles or something. You're looking at the oldest man on earth and all shit. Don't know crap. Okay. I am here for entertainment purposes. That's it. Someone did not learn shit from. Just like I did not. I mean, how the frick do you say it? Go to school if you want to learn something. Don't come to me. I mean, that's my daughter knows this. All right, she's in school. Okay, now we shouldn't get an explosion, right? 
in our face. I mean, it looked like it let the pressure out. I'm going to see if I can get this to break the seal without taking that completely off. So. Now, if you hear something, you run. Right. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, we got all the pressure off. I have changed air conditioners before. You know what I mean? Like, just changed and empty, you know, took the pressure off and on. Mm-hmm. I've never done that. I've never relieved pressure because the stuff I work on never had pressure to start with. Look at all this shit. Look at it. This is organization. Let's have a look at it. Huh? Organization. Quick caught, little. We should just call it skanky garage. Quick little intermission here. See the golden girls? Now they're in with the boyfriend. Mr. Shunny. He's been getting them on too, ain't he? He's got one, two, three, five girls in there, hasn't he? Five eggs a day. You can't beat it. I mean, nobody here can eat five eggs a day. You're having gall attacks like a son of a bitch, isn't you? Are you ever going to stop? Jeez. Have you ever just get tired of shit? Waiting for stuff? Now, um, down here on this exhaust, the manifold, there's a little heat guard. And the manifold bolts, you know, they go hold your manifold on the motor. They're studs. And then, on the, they put a guard on there, and then they put a little nut on that to hold your guard on. They use it twice. They can't, they're coming off. So, is that a good sign? Yeah. I mean, seriously. They mm -hmm. look rusty as hell. You said a lot of this engine is aluminum. Maybe they won't be seized too bad. Is that part aluminum? I don't know, but I like your face. <laughs> Nothing wrong with faith. I told you that we'll be here all day. We won't get shit done. We kind of got something done. At least we know there is a problem now. And mm -hmm. maybe... Just maybe, if it didn't like hurt the cylinder down in there and stuff, maybe we can fix this. Now we need a sponsor, don't we? Like Rock Auto or somebody to ship us some free shit to put back. A bunch of it. Huh? Bunches of it, too. Yeah, and how about a wiring harness and a computer for that over there? That right there is a damn good running truck. It runs freaking perfect. It don't even use oil, does it? Mm -mm. Like, what do we say, 240000 It don't even use oil. And it's a yard ornament, man. It really sucks. Because I'm not an electrician. I'm fixing to learn to be, though. Because I ain't got a choice. If you ain't got a choice, then you, you got to learn how to do stuff. <clears throat> yeah. I, can't, I hate this vehicle, though. I'm not going to. I'm not going to lie. Hate it. Absolutely hate it. But I think it maybe it'll be easy to work on. You know what I mean? We get to find out how bad all these bearings are. Like how this engine, you know, kind of wore out or not. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. If I'm going to go this deep in this thing, it almost like, if I can't find nothing wrong with it, and like it's a real good engine still, It'd almost be worth like main bearings at least you know what i mean for oil pressure purposes you know what i mean Something to think about but then if you go that far then you might as well put every freaking thing right because you know you can lose oil pressure from those too so i mean the oil light ain't on There's, they don't say nothing like that maybe it's just this simple and i can fix it mm -hmm. You can tell, I don't, <laughs> I'm one of those people, I don't know, I ain't got faith in this new shit, you know what I mean, do you, do you think it's worth the crap, I mean every now and then I'm sure people get a good something, mm -hmm. I mean you know, you remember that old song, I wish the Ford and the Chevy still last 10, 10 years ain't shit, these things have already lasted what, 30 years or something, yeah, most of ours we pushed at least 20, <laughs> exactly, <laughs> So that song is crap. Yeah. And uh, 
For some people, 10 years is a long time to have something get still going, I guess. Come on, man. I think that's the high pressure side. <sighs> it didn't want to come out of there. Yeah. See, she needed a new one of these anyway. Yeah. They so, I just fixed. Save some time. I got something ready right here. Yeah. Huh. Green shit in there. That's that coolant stuff. Is there a core charge on this? I don't know. <laughs> you can't tell I wanted to, I wanted to bust it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if there's a core charge on it, though. <laughs> Look at that. Now there's some room. <coughs> we should probably just tie all this shit back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look at that. That's where it was supposed to go. Why did they have it over there on the engine? Mm -hmm. I don't know what to do next, baby. The oil spout thing, I guess you could. I'm glad you're filming anywhere. that because I would forget where that goes. Simple shit like that. I'd be like, where, where did that go? You could get your fill neck out. A what? This? Yeah. I think the the two second video we watched earlier said there's eight holding it on there. That looks like one, two, three, four to me. I yeah. may not have been listening good. You wasn't, because there's only eight. Maybe they're eight millimeter. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Okay, maybe so that's, that's where, where I heard know. the eight. That's where you got this from. And that is the rest of the story. Uh, I'll never find a deep well eight millimeter. <laughs> I'm glad I only need it once, because... I can rig the in. Hmm. You see where I laid my little vice grips at? How the hell do you lose stuff when you're this organized? It's what I don't understand. No, it don't make sense, does it? I mean, look how good this looks. It is really organized, you think? Huh? Why, yada, yada. No. Idiot, right? I bet these won't work. Oh, nope. Not mainly enough for that. Uh, <laughs> this is kind of pissing me off. Well, a big ass croissant ranch fit in there. <laughs> the old, what do they call this? The French lathe, I think is what they call it. Because you know it's going to round out your shit. <laughs> <laughs> And it's croissant. I'll tell you what. No. So that was tightening. Yeah, this is a floppy basket. Okay. How many tools does a man need to make it in life? I'm going to pause this. And we'll... Please. Put my bolts back. Because I don't want to lose these. These are, now we're getting into like, maybe if you were... Like, if you had a problem memory and stuff, mm -hmm. like, you might want to start labeling shit at this point. Like, you know, in the old days, like, the older cars, the V8s and shit, the bell housing bolts, everything, they, you could tell what was what. The starter bolts were different, you know, the bell housing bolts. But, I don't know, this thing has 15 millimeter all over the front of it. Mm -hmm. 10 millimeter everywhere else. Which I'm not complaining about that. They did a good job where you don't have to change tools constantly. That car down there in the front yard, that Chrysler, we changed, we took the timing cover off of it. Therefore, we had to take the accessories off of it and the brackets that held them on to get the timing cover off to put a timing belt on it. And you remember that? It had like 10 different sizes. 10 different sizes on just that alone. I've never in my life seen nothing like that. Unless it's like they just used shit they had left over. I don't know. That helps get that little bit more out of my way. Not a lot. All right, I guess I'm back on them stupid as all. I really do need to be more organized, so look at that. I mean, this is literally. I mean, what if it starts pouring rain right now? Yep. Like, I got too much shit out of here. gonna be scrambling. Stuff and... <clears throat> I 
I about just blew a boogie at my face. Come on, get on there. Now that one don't feel like it could come off very easy. <clears throat> See? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that was quick. Huh? <laughs> How many hold just a guard on? Maybe three. Oh, man. That's not a good start, is it? Maybe four. I don't know. I gotta have my socket back. Let's see. Uh, I need to think. Either way, the water pump and shit's gotta come off. Everything does. Right? Yep. I mean, how would you see anything without... I don't see no way of, you know, just loosening this chain over here to get it to, you know, where I can take off one head mm -hmm. and then put it back without. That's trash. So first, most of that side of the exhaust come off? I got, no, no. I got too loose though. And that, that makes me feel good. I, I soaked the living shit out of it with penetrating oil. And I'm gonna let it set tonight. I'm not gonna even, I'm not even gonna try it today, which I did already try. I got two loose, which mm -hmm. is good out of six, I think. So, ain't there only six in that? I don't know. I thought I seen four over here, but I, maybe it is three on top, three on bottom. I thought that's what it was. Like, we looked at the gasket, gasket kit to this. I don't remember. Do you? I think it was. Six, like Man, I wish the numbers would have stayed on this. <laughs> you know what? Mm. Got a marker. Huh? Got a marker over there. Yeah. I'm trying to think. Pulling the water pump back off that you put on there a few months ago? Yeah, it was three months ago. Hey, at least it ain't got nothing to do with, I don't think anyway, with, hell, who knows, it kind of had that something to do with it. The day she overheated this thing and I went up there and put the water pump on it, mm -hmm. that's what started all this. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Don't you think? Seems like that's when it kept trying to leak after that a little bit. <laughs> Well, it was like, it was like you could do anything to this when she got it. Like, there had a radiator crack right here. We put a new radiator in it. And then it started leaking out of a hose over here. The bottom of the reservoir. Yeah. And we half-ass fixed it. I mean, good enough that it shouldn't have messed anything up. But as long as you keep your eye on it. Then, after that... It's like every time we fix something, it would have like pressure in the system so much that it would find tear, another spot. Yeah, it would find another place to tear it up. And I think that's what happened. Like we sorted out the problem and then maybe it found its way into the motor. I don't know. Maybe when it overheated, it, it blew the gasket just a little enough to let pressure into the She got water the sucker system. so hot. That it shut itself down. That the motor almost locked up on it. So, there's no telling, honestly, is there? Mm. See, if we could keep this together, I'd just let you put it up as one. Can you think you can do that? Keep this bolt with that? Because it is kind of important that these stay together. You see what I'm saying? You tape it. Can I have some of your duct tight? Yep. Asking you. Right. Can I have some of my own duct tape? See, I don't think it can fall out now, huh? Mm -hmm. Probably can because tape ain't worth a piss anymore either. Have you noticed that? Ain't nothing worth a crap anymore. See, I'm sitting here thinking. <laughs> you remember these bolts were different lengths, right? Mm -hmm. I wonder if I should 
come up with some way of not messing them up there. I mean, I remember we numbered them up there. We could just redo that again and remember how we did it. Mm -hmm. You want to do that? Um, just grab that marker. I will. Do it all in the head before you, you pull them out. Give me one fucking minute. <laughs> before you pull them out. I'm not pulling them all the way out yet. Oh. Get, them, get them to where I can. Get them where you can. And you better bet your sweet little ass that this new water pump's going back on this engine. Because I know <laughs> that ain't what did it. Okay. A marker somewhere in this. Um, look in that tub that's behind your Stanley box. Look at you. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. All right. I'm going to say this is one. Yeah, it was one before. Because mm -hmm. I changed not. Because I put a, a, a weird one and said it was so it wouldn't look like an L. Because <laughs> yeah. we were lettering them too, I guess. Yep. Now, I hate to just... kind of wish we had a bag. We honestly. do have a bag. Let me pause it. Uh, and we're back. There's one. Right. By the time I get back on this engine, everything will be rotten off of it. <laughs> Mold and more, mildew and moisture. I'll be cleaning threads on everything. And I'll be like, man, I wish we'd have used tape. All right. Ow. See that little clip right there? Mm-hmm. Mm. Got me some skin right there. I'm glad I clocked that right there like that. <laughs> and I'm the one that did that too, so don't say anything. And I don't know. It seems like this has already been a long day to me. I went to bed when the rooster crowed this morning. Because my I feel like my collarbone was broke last night. Because it's been broke. Yeah, full Rexer. I had one bad one when I was a teenager, and I had another bad one oh, last year. Or the year before. Huh? Last year or the year before. No, it was last year. Well, it's been like a year and a half now, I think. I don't know. It may only be two. That's right, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, I'll tell you what. It still don't feel that great. I mean, I'm not complaining. I can move around. Uh... But it kept him up. Yeah, I did. Hey, I didn't bring that short extension out here, did I? I did. Where is it at? Laying behind that, inside that hammer. Left, down. <laughs> Just follow. Follow what I say, honey. Yeah. Every time I made that sound where it's like a dinner bell. Mm-hmm. Well, he usually doesn't hear it. Yeah. Time for dinner. Yeah, this is uh, this is boring shit here. We got a long ways to go to actually, and then it's all you know. Do we want to spend all that money and and maybe it not? I don't know. I'm confident. I've done several head gaskets in my life, but mm -hmm. see now we're getting dirty. <laughs> you know what I mean. And this one used to be number two. Why can't I keep things the same? I mean, it's not like I won't figure it out. Even if they get all screwed up, you know this. It's not like I won't eventually find where they did go. As long as you don't run through a water jacket or something. Don't bottom something out and then keep turning it. What's that all about? Just trying to get an angle of it. Hmm. See the action. The angle of the dangle. Yeah, a lot of action here. Yeah. I think I will read a little bit on these motors in case I'm in case it can teach me something here and I'm sure it can <clears throat> overhead cam all I've ever done with overhead cam is head gasket and timing belts you know what I mean I never actually got down which see 
wish I would have, that still has the number on it that you can read real good. So you've changed them? Yes. I'm off <laughs> one. Because this time made more sense how to number it than last time did. Because mm. I actually, I think I started like noon up here, 12 mm -hmm. o'clock. Yeah. And then went one, two, That's three. Right. This time I went one, two, three, because there ain't 12 here. Mm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> <coughs> at least this video will help you remember i guess right yeah. that is one thing good about filming shit you do you it go will back and you. watch it yeah it will help you i mean i got my own crap even though i don't like watching myself i will go back and see though yeah i changed it faster than this up there in that parking lot didn't i well, you were under pressure up there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Even had guards wouldn't leave me alone. Then I you just want to make sure we went up no good. Yeah. While well, looking at me like I was a piece of shit. It was like, cut your hair, son. And I did. But not because of you. But <clears throat> because I'm an idiot and I waited till winter to cut my hair off. And since summer's coming back, I'll grow it back up. Because that's what we do around here. Opposites. All right? Opposites. You can't tell us what to do, remember? No, but where we live, it's either it's either hot or cold. There's no in between. I'm sweating right now. And like I said, it's 60 degrees. Ain't no reason to sweat out here. Is there? But it feels like humidity's already high. Yeah. Can't tell I've run out of shit to say, can you, man? Uh. Man, those fingers are so sore. I don't even know what number I'm on. I should have probably. See, that's where talking gets you. Okay, I guess it's six since that one's five. <laughs> I mean, I'm a number off. You know what I mean? <sighs> what, 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 what a pump. A lot of boats holding it on. Yeah, a lot of shit comes out this time. I'll never. I will have nightmares on this one. That's like... Wish I had like some oily shit I could waste. I don't want this stuff to rust up, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I don't know how long it's gonna be until we get until we I don't know what I'm trying to say. Time. You know, you gotta this ain't my vehicle, so Seven. Can't see shit. Hmm. One more, baby. Time for dinner. Yeah. Every time. <laughs> Mikey ain't eight. What did I say that was? Seven. Seven. Yeah, because this one. Says something. I can't even read it. So. This will save me trouble later. I don't even know it took so freaking long. I could have just rushed through this and paid for it later, couldn't I? Mm -hmm. All right. What a bump. WP. Shit. Everybody in there, we got to shorten it. That don't even look like a P. <laughs> it really don't, does it? You gotta just trust my education on this. Hmm. You see a lighter? It's over there beside the green bow. Left, yep. You think I'm blonde the way you're always leading me left. Yeah, because it's right, it's right, even right. red. Huh. Oh, oh man, we should have caught that. There's some water leakage. There's bow. We're too freaking poor to let shit like that happen. 
See, clearly nothing here was leaking. Nothing got in a bind or anything. It still looks great. What, what, what a fun. Oh, great. Right where I stand. All right. Here's a bow for next time you just go dump in a bunch. What are you saying? That's a mess. You got mud now. Shut up. Um, do you see where this comes apart next? Huh. I wonder if that's like a solid... I mean, it's got to be a timing cover here, right? The heads surely don't come off. Before. We need to watch some videos, don't we? This is just not self-explanatory like some stuff. <laughs> I don't feel no sloppy shit going on down there, which that don't matter right now either. I mean, I don't even see bolts, do you? That holds anything on here. Don't tell me that was pointless. I see a bolt here. I don't know what that's all about. See, now we're on just a bunch of aluminum here. Which is really kind of scary to me. Oh, duh, right there, that big bastard. Uh, I'm going to shut her down, okay? I'm going to watch some videos because I literally don't know what I'm doing. I can't stress that enough. Don't do what I do. Um, this ain't a teaching video. Yeah, it definitely ain't. I think the next time you see me, because it's supposed to rain, I'll probably do a little bit more tomorrow before it actually gets here, but I don't think we're going to film that. I think I'm going to tear this front of this engine off and try to get that exhaust off. And when I get, before I relieve that, the head off of it, we'll start filming then. You know what I mean? Because if there's something wrong in there, you'll ever want to get to see it. I mean, because I know my daughter probably watches this too, so do that, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Later.